Hey guys, so I've got something to show you. Um, my DigiSpark has arrived. So this is going to be the unboxing or unenveloping, I guess. So it's come in this envelope. It's really, really thin. So I'm a little bit worried it's not even in there, to be honest. But let's, uh, let's get it open and so see if you can have a look. Exciting. Yeah. Uh, so I've got some declaration thing. I'm not sure what that is, we'll ignore that. And inside, oops, some bits sort of floating around in there. There it is. That <laughs> might be all that's in there, maybe. Uh, oh, cool. There's a sticker. Everyone wants a sticker. And, oh, another sticker. The power of a square inch, it says there. I'll show you these a bit closer in detail in a second. And the last bit that's in there are the headers for the ball of the little pins. So let's take a look at this a bit closer, shall we? Right, so here it is. Um, came in this nice little padded envelope. Don't need that. Uh, also came with this declaration. I assume that's for importing stuff. And it came with a couple of stickers, power of the square inch, Digi Stump, and the Digi Spark sticker, which is pretty cool. Came with a couple of headers, those to put on the board, so let's just get that out now. Let's have a look at it. And it is truly tiny. Look at the size of that thing. So these headers would uh, sit into these bits here. So I'll solder those on at some point. Let's get a bit closer. So here it is, the little tiny DigiSpark. It's got uh, a couple of headers that you can solder on. It's got the USB connection there. That's the voltage regulator is uh, larger than the chip there. Uh, so you plug it straight into a USB and that's where it gets its power from. I'm sure you can mod it so you don't use that. Or I could just cut the head off a USB and use a 5 volt power supply that way, but uh, there it is, it says it's the Kickstarter Special Edition Digi, Digi Stump something backers? I can't quite read that. So the DigiSpark has uh, six input-output pins. Uh, a couple of them are used when communicating via USB, so if you're not communicating via USB you can use those pins. Um, it has 8K of flash memory. It's got uh, I2C and SPI. And it's got PWM on three pins, but I'm not sure which ones. It's very small, so I've not really had a proper look at it yet. And uh, it's got ADC on four of the pins as well, but I don't know which ones those are again. But I'll find out a bit more as I start to use it. Um, it's a great little thing. It's got the USB bit there on the, straight on the PSB. PSB? PCB. Um, so I think it should be a lot of fun. It's uh, the Atmel Tiny... Is it 85? I think it's 85. Um, that's the chip just there. Um, it's got, I think it's got a couple of te uh, a couple of LEDs on there too. Uh, power and a status LED, I think. Uh, let's have a closer look. I think so, yeah. Uh, and I think one of them's connected to one of the pins there, so it will flash just like on a, on a normal Arduino. I'll let you know what I do with it, uh, but for now it's just going to sit as it is. I've got some other projects on the go. In fact, you can probably see one on the other side of that glass that I'm currently messing around with, but it's not finished yet. It's not ready for anyone to see. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and uh, I will show you more of the Digi 